Uh, this is a picture of uh, one of the uh, families that built the uh, Taleh, actually, a uh, compound. The man Mullah was hiding uh, from the British uh, colonials. Uh, and I think uh, the video, I, I'm going to actually add the video to the description for those who actually uh, can get it from the playlist. But in any case, so um, there's also uh, English translation in the video. Uh, so what he's saying is that uh, his, uh, his father with many other Arabs, uh, with other Yemenis, came from uh, Yemen and then they're both basically w had uh, some uh, problems uh, and then they actually... Uh, were actually um, they landed in the, in in Somalia in the, in basically in Bari, and um, they were taken to the Mad Mullah and the Mad Mullah basically told them uh, if they build forts uh, fortifications for him he would uh, make sure that they actually are taken back to Yemen, and um, I don't know why they were not taken to they didn't actually um, you know want to actually uh, continue their actually uh, travel to Mombasa and you know chose to be taken back to Yemen but in any case that's what the story says and so they build the Taleh uh, compounds for the Darawish and that's what the Somalis actually uh, you know um, you know brag about that they had all these structures that they were actually especially the Rulbahante that, that clan it's so it's well known in the Somalis actually that um, you know the 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 the, the the Durbahante basically are the uh, the clan that actually claim uh, you know uh, linkage to the Ahmad Mullah or what they call Sayyid Muhammad Abdi, and they basically are you know. Uh, so in any case, these people actually claim that they built these structures, but they did not. These these Yemenis who built them, and again, it's the same story with the Futur Habash. Uh, if you listen to what they say, they actually usurp that claiming that it was they who actually were the biggest movement in the Futur Habash and that they toppled the Ethiopians and then, you know, pushed them in all the way to the highlands and made them eat raw meat. All kinds of crazy, actually, you know, uh, uh, basically, uh, propaganda, basically. And so um, they usurped that uh, because they actually claimed to be the biggest uh, Muslim ethnic uh, uh, Muslims in the region, which is, again, it's a lie. It's the Oromo who are the biggest uh, ethnic uh, Muslim uh, in the region, and they are changing it to be into a Muslim nation. And so this is one of the stories, actually, they claim. And as one can see from here in this video, this guy actually claims that it is his father. It is his actually Yemeni uh, father who actually he holds the picture uh, next to him who built the forts the Taleh forts for the Ahmad Mullah and um, as one can see the father um, yeah you know he probably is uh, some kind of entities in the father and you know um, in this region many many uh, people came in from the Middle East claiming to be uh, you know uh, migrants claiming to be some people who were uh, basically traveling uh, uh, and then got somehow you know um, basically so had some kind of impediment and then they settled with the people it's a basically story that basically as old as basically as, as time itself and um, I guarantee you if you take a DNA test from his son you will not find any Middle Eastern haplogroup in that in that man uh, we don't know how actually these things operated. Uh, many of these things basically landed in the basic on the shores, mixed with the locals, and then created the uh, new people. And then these people basically uh, settled and then spread. Uh, this is not the first actually story uh, of this kind in the region. It's just many stories. And the people that we see uh, right now on YouTube, with all shaking or getting infected by or by by people who carry some kind of entities with themselves we don't know where it's coming from we don't know which clan is it is we don't know they tell you some of these entities have their own clan some of these entities have their own hybrid clans or what they call Métis probably clans but it's a crazy stories um, so we don't know where it's coming from but the point is people that look like that that the man he's holding the picture uh, came in from the Middle East, settled with locals, and then spread afterwards entities. And these entities are still in the region, and they're still spreading these entities throughout the world. Whether they are in the U.S., they still carry these entities, and they can spread these entities. 
uh, many people believe they're spreading them from Minnesota. Uh, they're spreading these entities in Europe. They're spreading these entities in Australia. So everywhere where they're at, they are actually spreading these entities. We don't know where these entities come from, but what we do know is that they are very, very related to actually um, Islam. And, uh, and they love basically that islamic religion and they actually are spreading these themselves uh through the beliefs of that religion and through that worship uh so it's yeah it's it is crazy